This is a study in patients with colorectal cancer. At Mayo, we have assembled the world's largest database of patients who've been treated. We have, in total, about 33,000 patients who've been treated with colorectal cancer, and we have information on the long-term outcomes of those patients. In our database, we have 33,000 patients, but we focused here on 18,000 of those patients that had received the same chemotherapy after their initial treatment. The reason we did that was we wanted to keep as much as we could the same, that is, have patients that are treated with the same uh, initial chemotherapy, but we knew there would be variation in the subsequent treatments that patients might receive after they recur. What we did was compared patients treated in, the, in an earlier time period, which consisted of patients treated from about 1985 through 1995, to patients treated in the more recent decade from 1995 to 2005. The goal of this study was to look at outcomes over time and learn whether in patients treated with similar treatment, actually there have been improvements in outcomes, and that was really an, an open question. Very few researchers actually consider the entire span of a patient. They might look at uh, a very selected time period. And what we did with the data we have, which was 15 years of follow-up, is really be able to look from the initial diagnosis and surgery through treatment, then subsequent treatments in case the patient did recur, all the way to their survival. So really taking advantage of this long-term follow-up we have on patients to ask, uh, to answer some pretty fundamental questions. And what we saw was that, in fact, the patients treated in the later decade had better outcomes than the patients treated in the earlier decade. And we found that very, um, uh, a very positive finding and certainly uh, should encourage patients to uh, receive the adjuvant chemotherapy and have trust and faith that the uh, medical research that we're doing is actually meaningfully improving patient outcomes. Well, I think the most important thing is that there are chemotherapy agents that help patients after they have uh, uh, their colon cancer removed. So the standard therapy is surgery, of course, and have your tumor removed. But we now have proven through this study and many others that after patients have their tumor removed, if they have a somewhat advanced tumor, that is a tumor that has um, invaded their regional lymph nodes, that there is chemotherapy that does meaningfully improve survival, long-term survival in those patients. There's about 150,000 people in the United States diagnosed every year and about 50 to 60,000 deaths every year from colorectal cancer. Every one of us has a one in six lifetime risk of developing colorectal cancer. So if there's another message, it's that there are effective screening programs for colorectal cancer through colonoscopy and uh, fecal occult blood tests, for example, that are very important because we would like nothing better than never having colorectal cancer patients because we would like to, to find them early. So. Uh, colorectal cancer is a, a major health uh, problem, major health issue I in this country, and um, fortunately we have screening mechanisms, but after patients develop cancer we also have um, effective treatment mechanisms. Well, I think there's probably three main messages here. One is uh, a a, a not a new story, but we have to continue to stress that in patients who have surgical uh, resection, have their tumor removed, that getting chemotherapy after that helps survival. The second message is that, unfortunately, despite the chemotherapy, some of those patients will recur. But we now also have effective therapies after those patients recur. And in this study, we showed that not only does the initial therapy help, but that the subsequent therapies after patients recur. And this is some new agents that are uh, uh, available in the last, say, five to 10 years, irinotecan, oxaloplatin, 
uh, bevacizumab or some of these drugs that actually really do help patients survive longer after they recur. The third message is that we can have uh, faith in the, the medical research and the clinical trials we're doing that when you compare patients treated uh, two decades ago to patients treated in the last decade, their patients are doing better and that's only possible through the medical research that we do at Mayo Clinic and other institutions. So I would uh, stress to patients if you come to Mayo or come to a center and have opportunity to participate in research, you are not only going to be helping yourself, but you're going to be helping others in the future. We continue to assemble data on, on patients treated with colorectal cancer. So this collaboration, which we call ACCENT, which stands for the Adjuvant Colon Cancer Endpoints Project, is a worldwide project that um, we have agreement now that all large clinical trials in colorectal cancer will provide their data to this database. So we will continue to look at these issues over time and I would expect in a decade we will go back and compare 2005 to 2015 to how patients did in, in 1995 to 2005 and we expect to see continued improvement because we do continue to develop new agents. So this is a, a continual process that is made possible by collecting these large data sets. I think the, the most important finding is that colorectal cancer patients treated in recent years are doing better than those patients detected earlier and that is because of the, the progress in medical uh, care that's possible through the medical research.